Hello, I'm Elena Chapman and I'm founder of Soul Manifesto. And I have this question that people are always asking because it is Soul Manifesto, is why do I want to connect to my soul and how do I do it? And so I thought I would bring that into a value video. All right, so what is our soul? Our soul is the energy inside, okay? It's the energy we carry with us. Now, I know some people don't even believe that much. Um, some people believe it's just energy. Some believe nothing, you know, they just don't believe in that. And that's fine. Whatever is your, float your boat, that's what you live by. That's your truth, that's what it is. But here's the thing. People have been trying, meaning scientists, have been trying to define the soul. Church has tried to define the soul. Haven't been very successful, totally. So they kind of talk about it, but don't. And science has been trying to do it forever and ever and ever. Now, I think it was in the early 1900s, they were measuring the people when they died. <laughs> I know that sounds so funny. No, they really did. What they did was they found that when people passed over, they did it with six people. Every one, 100% of the six people, which in science is like, wow, they all, lost the same numbers, I think it was 0.6 or 0.26, of weight as soon as they passed. Now that intrigued science. And for ever since that time, science has been looking for what is soul because they know there's something in us that, some, and they call it energy, something in us that constitutes this energy we seem to have. Now, recently I had an interview with Dr. Vargas on my Magical Moments show. And Dr. Vargas said that he had just read, and I do not have it cited yet, but he read in his um, doctor magazines, he read that each cell, remember when I always talk about the cell having a little vortex of energy inside and that energy vibrates when I talk about vibration and that vibration creates, um, uh, they all, the cells do it, they, uh, they do it at the same point and when they do that, that creates the vibration we live on, right? Okay, it turns out that those little vortexes don't only just vibrate, but they have light, that each cell actually lights up. Now, me, I know just enough about medicine in the body and everything to be dangerous. <laughs> so, uh, but I thought, well, is it the synapsis connection? Because a synapsis moves through nerve endings, but is it somehow lighting up everything? And, and I was told, no, it was actually in the vortex of the, each cell. We have what? A million trillion cells in us. That's incredible. And when we are very upset or depressed, that, that light dims. Interesting, isn't it? So, okay, so you can say this is all, it is the soul countable. I don't even think of it that way. I know that the soul is in us, around us, it is ours. It is us, it's not, we don't own it, it is us. I also know that the soul, when we live more by our soul, when we connect to our soul, that it's a higher consciousness and it can connect easily when we want it to, when we can get past our blocks, our dogmas that it's not true, all the stuff that we're, the pollution in us. When we get past that and we allow the soul to just take us, well, then we are in divinity. We can connect to divinity. It's like an old story and I, I love this. It's Shiva and Shikita. And they always say the Shikita is at the bottom, the Kundalini is at the bottom of the spine, the tailbone. And it's forever traveling up, wanting to connect to Shiva, who is divinity. Isn't that cool? I don't know if that's true or not. I do think that um, there's something to it because when you connect to your soul, you work through those chakras and up through the body, you awaken it, you awaken the soul. And because really what happens is, if we don't listen to our soul, which most of us, 98% of the population really doesn't listen to their soul, which is very sad. Used to be people, most people listen to their soul. But then we all thought we knew better. We all went into um, living what was correct and the value over book knowledge and people telling us what to learn and what to know 
versus what we knew inside, our intuition. Intuition is one way our soul talks to us. And we discount that. I remember when I was growing up, people would say, oh, women's intuition. Like they didn't have it. And oh boy, you better not count on it because it's just a woman's thing. And when I was growing up, that's, that's really, that term was heard all the time. And yet your soul's trying to talk to you and you're just saying, oh, I can't do that. That's silly. You know, we're turning off one of the biggest senses in us that lets us know that something's not right for us. And instead listening to something out there that says, oh yes, this is right. But inside something is going off saying, no, 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 this, you gotta be careful here. Isn't that silly? That's what's silly. So connecting to your soul and living by your soul creates this incredible peace. I tend to be, um, well, I tend to be a joyous person and that's because I live by my soul. I have a strong inner core of peace and it grows bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I didn't always have that. When I was following what everybody else said and they were putting me on that treadmill or that wheel, you know, the hamster wheel. <laughs> yes, colleges did it a lot. <laughs> well, then, then I was, I was not peaceful. <laughs> I was not, I was hectic. I was hectic. I was running from one crisis to another, like a ping pong machine. And that's how people live. 98% of us live that way. <laughs> oh, it's so silly. But now when I connected to my soul, I have a profound peace inside and this incredible knowing that everything is going to be fine and that life is happening for me, not to me. And I always hear that incredible voice, a loving voice. I don't hear that big giant critical ego very much. You know, it's very subdued. It's still there, of course it's still there, but it is not active. And instead I hear my voice, my inner voice, my strong loving inner voice, my soul. And it says, hello Elena, I'm here. Or hey Elena, give it a try. Go for it. It's an experience. Love it, enjoy it, and see what comes of it. I heard that the other day. Now, isn't that cool? Much different than this loud voice that comes in and says, oh, you can't do that. Are you crazy? <laughs> no, we don't want to hear that. So living by your soul has many, many, many advantages. How do you do it? You unpollute yourself and your world. It's that simple. And you come to know who you are and this wonderful accepting. And that's when you see yourself bloom bigger into the soul. Now, that's a very simple definition, but it's the truth. Nothing in life is that hard. We make it complex. And then we, when, we con when we understand it, we think, oh, wow, we understand it. <laughs> but most of the most profound, profound concepts are very simple. So if you are interested in living by your soul, if you truly, truly want to have that peace, that joy, and the little magical things, the synchronicities, the things that appear in your life, and you say, what? That is so cool. Because I help people to connect to that incredible place of living every day that incredible non-worry place, that incredible place that knows everything will get done when it's supposed to get done. Everything will happen when it's supposed to happen. Just trust. And as long as you are walking the walk with total faith and knowing what you want to be in that world, not even in manifesting a goal, but in life, and you have that guidance, how wonderful is that? I mean, what would you, people would pay gold and gold and gold for that. Especially now, since we're in an epidemic and it's not the pandemic, it's the epidemic of stress. Stress, adrenal fatigue, cancer, all these things, stress. It is time, it's time. It's time for us to start waking up our soul again. It's time for us to just be able to breathe and be happy and have peace and knowing and guidance from something so incredibly in us. I hope that answers your question and I look forward to meeting all of you. 
But if you are interested in this, then contact me. Go to soulmanifesto.com. Remember, spirit is love. And the more we learn how to live in that love of ourselves, of our world, of other people, of this planet, then we are living by our soul and with spirit. <laughs> Namaste, everyone. Feel free to give me a contact at soulmanifesto.com and just take a look too. We got some pretty cool stuff on that website. I'm, I'm surprised. We got a lot of affiliate things, some beautiful jewelry. Soul Talk is a wonderful conversation thing that we've got going on. And of course, if you want to learn about how to live this incredible life by your soul, let me know. Let me know. For now, have a fantastic day and namaste, my dears. Namaste. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Don't miss out on a single thing. Subscribe below. And here's something else I think you'll enjoy. Namaste.